Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle. But in today's video I just wanted to show you guys my YouTube studio room that I've created. Now I'm, I'm, I have like two, two more things that I need to get in here, possibly three and I'm just trying to decide if I want to get a small stand up desk where I could actually roll it out the way. I do have an office in my home for my regular job. But I feel like working in there in contact doesn't kind of put me in that mindset. So I was thinking about getting another smaller desk in here. This is my other bedroom. It's not really large, but I was able to get some stuff in here and get nice, um, like a nice center space where I don't have anything. So in this area, I'm thinking about adding a small ottoman, like a round ottoman with like a storage space inside of it so I can move some of my extra stuff and just stick it inside there. Or a small desk. Now, I have another place where I could put a desk. And maybe I'll do that, but I'm not too sure yet. But if I do get a desk and stick it here, I need to be able to just roll it out the way when I record my hauls. So, I'm just going to get started. Again, I'm not completely done. So, if you guys can see, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. If you guys can see, so I have some lights up here. I got these... Um, photo lights. I think they're called picture lights. And I got these from Amazon. Alright. I should turn them on for you guys. They're not very bright to be honest with you. Um, and then I got these pictures here from Etsy. I did do a video on these um, on how to print them out. And the frames are from good old Ikea. <laughs> this clothes rack it's also from Ikea. This is the one that's, I believe, $99. There's one that's a little bit cheaper. Um, and it doesn't have these shelves here. So, but I like this one because it was a little bit higher than the other one. You guys know I'm six feet tall. So it's not over my head, of course. But it's definitely taller than the one that's cheaper than this one. Um, so that's from Ikea. So I usually just keep like the stuff that I'm going to do a haul on here. Um, then I'll change the clothes out here. I do leave some clothes in here because my closet is packed to the gods. <laughs> and I leave most of my boxes in here because it can't fit in my closet. So I'm probably going to put some pompous grass in the corner or something just to bring it some life into here or whatever. Or maybe a green plant. <clears throat> so here is another photo that I got from. Where did I get this from? And I got two of them. I got it from at home. You guys have an at home where you are? Let me tell you something. I have two near me. And I'm so happy that I do. Because they both carry different things. Like I'll go to one. They will have something. And I'll go to the other one. They won't have it. But it's kind of like. Uh, it's, I don't know, you won't always find the match to something in there, but I like it because it just has so much stuff in there. So I got that from there, and I think those were like 50 bucks each. It came with the frame. Um, it came with a frame, which I like. And these books I got from Home Goods. So I got. This one from Home Goods, and I got this one from Home Goods. Um, here are the remote controls that go with the picture lights. Um, and I also got this from Home Goods, also. So, and this vase, this black vase, and the white vase I got from Target. Uh, the gold knot I got from Home Goods, also. And the books down there, I actually got those from Facebook Market. And what I did was I just wrapped them in like white linen wrap from Hobby Lobby. So this mirror here, I also got this from Facebook Market. And guys, let me tell you, the lady, she was moving and I think she had it up there for 80 bucks, I believe. And then I think she... When I said I wanted it, I think she dropped it down to like $35. And it's like a really, 
really good. It's so heavy. I was so afraid to put it up by myself, but um, well, not Walmart. Home Depot has these hooks that are so amazing. I think they're called monkey hooks. They're the best, guys. So I put that there. These shelves are from Target. Um, they're really nice. They're super heavy. Now, the one in the middle, that one is from Ikea. And I'm not going to lie. I don't really like it. Like, it's okay. But um, I don't have all the screws in it. <laughs> because it wouldn't go in. And I'm like, oh my God, it's defected. So, But I did set it up like this. Um, I thought it was just going to be too much in here. I could always move it out the way. I can take it out the way. I could put a desk there if I wanted to. Um, or I can move it in the middle as an island if I wanted to. So it's a few things I can do. I just don't want to move stuff around in here. And like I said, when I do hauls and stuff, I want you guys to be able to see me. So I am going to be changing some stuff around because now that I'm thinking about it, that may be a good idea. <laughs> um, so that's that one. I just have some boxes here. And of course, my Tom Ford book from Amazon. And I Hi guys, I also got this book from Home Goods too. This is the Alexander McQueen book, which is from where I get this. I got this. Oh, um, Home Goods too. Home Goods. And just some magazines down there, some boxes. Um, my shoes are still still in here. I haven't put those up yet. So here's that. And then I got that picture also. I also got this from Home Goods. Listen, Home Goods is like my best friend. It's a little dark in here. Let me open up some of this light. Um, I got that from Home Goods. I think I got this book too. This actually had a top of uh, a cover on it. I put the cover away because I wanted to see the black book. And that's a good um suggesting guys if you guys want like books and stuff in your home um always look at the cover of the actual book itself because they may be really pretty like this um this is from target and again that's from home goods did i say target no i did get this from target that's from target the gold one's from home goods and again the same books and i just have some stuff on the floor these are like some um, lenses that I haven't used yet. So I'm probably going to try them out this week. Then I have <clears throat> this rug from Ikea. Now, I wanted the really, really, really big rug. But of course it couldn't fit in my car. My car does not have seats where they go down in the back. I don't know why. Um, but I have a big trunk. So I just got this one. I'm probably going to do something with it um I don't know it's not big enough but hey and and that, I think that was about 60 bucks it wasn't a lot so also next to this I have my printer which I'm probably gonna end up getting a small little table just to sit it on so it doesn't sit on the floor and this I use this a lot for my boutique stuff if you guys don't know I do have an online boutique that I linked below and um, it's just like dresses and jackets um, I'm thinking about getting into something else like blazers and stuff because it's really hard for us tall women to find blazers that fit so here's the other side of the room so I did end up getting two of the IKEA racks and that's because I just wanted it to look like come in and to kind of look like a little boutique right so I have some extra boxes, some hats. Sometimes I'll leave some pants in here, um, depending on what, depending on what I'm filming. So I also have some more photos up top, and this one is totally crooked, guys. I, you know what? I tried to fix this so many times, and I just kind of feel like it keeps sliding back. Well, anyway. <laughs> Again, the same pictures from Etsy. So the good thing about Etsy is that when you do get these pictures, they're downloadable, printables, or whatever I think they're called. And 
you can print them out as many times as you want. They just recommend not sharing them with your friends and stuff. So, so here's my ring light section. This is like my junkie section. <laughs> so I have some stuff down here for Instagram, a little mini ring light, a bigger ring light. I have back here, guys. When I take my pictures of my boutique, I have like a white background. It's so heavy. I hate putting it up. Um, and then I have just like a regular clothes rack just sitting here. I haven't gotten rid of this yet because I still have jeans sitting on it from a haul that I did before. Um, but then I have my soft box, light, and just some more bags. My baggage for my ring light. Of course, and what else is back here? And those are the pipes, not the pipes, <laughs> the stand. So this is my tripod. I think I'm going to pull it out for you guys to see it. This tripod goes up to like 81 inches high. I believe it was like 81 inches high or 71. Amazon. And I think it's called the Joblin. Oh my goodness. If you're like 5'11", so 510 and up, I think you should get this. This tripod that's right there. And let's see what else. So, all right, and to end it all off, I'm just gonna show you guys. You guys have already seen my mirror. I did a video on this mirror, and we all love IKEA. Yes. So be careful with this because someone said that this broke. I'm not sure where they had it at um, because it really sucks because it was really hard to actually get this mirror. Ikea raised the price on us. It's not as tall as the Hubbard mirror. However, it's a really nice mirror. So, all right. And then actually, I can't say I'm finished. I'm going to show you guys my chandelier. I'm going to see. This, I got this from... Where did I get this from? Home Depot. You guys can't really see the color, but it's a black antique. Maybe you can see it at the top. And it's just a simple, and this was, I think it was 140 bucks. Super cheap, but super cute. So that's everything that's in this room, guys. Um, and this is where I film at. Let me see if I can zoom all the way out. Or maybe step outside the room. I'm opening doors. <laughs> maybe step outside so you guys can see. So this is the entire room that I film in. And I have some hats there. Some boxes. And if you guys notice, I'm not a person that, like, wi that likes wires everywhere. So I try to hide them the best that I can. Um, but this is the whole situation. You guys let me know what you think. Would you record in this room? And do you guys think I should just get a huge ottoman, like a circle ottoman with some storage? Or get a small desk and slide it out the way when I need to film hauls and stuff? I mean, it may help me even trying to do makeup. Um, I could do it in my closet because I do have a vanity in there. It's just not so wide. And I don't think the camera, I don't know, maybe I'll try it out. I'll try it out. But let me know what you guys think if you like videos like this. I could give you guys a tour of my office where I work every day. Um, if you guys want to see that. Let me know what you guys think. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And if you guys need any recommendations for some of the things that I got, let me know. I'll see what I can find for you, but I just feel like you don't need a lot of stuff in a room that you're going to be recording in. I did an entire bedroom because moving stuff around was just so annoying, guys. But um, if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And guys, if you can, go follow me on Instagram at Coco underscore styles underscore NY, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.